Hi, <clears throat> everybody. It's Lisa Tuano's mom. <laughs> what a way to say hi, huh? Anyway, we're going to see what I found at Dollar Tree this week. Um, not a whole lot of new stuff, but, you know, hey, why not, right? You guys might see something that um, I picked up that you need to put on your list. And there you go. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there's no order to this at all. Um, so yeah, picked up some more of the dehydrated strawberries. These are by So Natural. I love these. It is, you've got a whole strawberry, not huge, but a small strawberry in here. And uh, they taste wonderful. I love them. Needed some more double stick tape. So I picked up two packages of the Jot double stick tape. I'm trying to organize this a little bit. I needed um, some of the small gift boxes. Um, just tiny little ones. So I picked up a five pack. And let's see. You get the red snowflake, the blue snowflake, the polka dot with the green. And there is a pattern in the middle here I would like to look at. Kind of looks like a Christmas sweater. Oh yeah, look at that pattern. It's just like a little Christmas sweater. And they're not very big. And then the bottom to that one, I think. Where is the bottoms? I don't know how this works. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. I thought it looked like there was more than five boxes in here. See, you unfold this. It's like one of those that you fold up. And then here's the top. Here's the top right up there. All right. Well, that makes sense. And that's really cute. I like that. No, I'll. I'll unfold it and put it away later. <laughs> and then I also needed some of these kind of medium square shaped ones. And they do have the um, typical white bottom with the design top one. And let's see, it says you get four. And they're all snowflake pattern. You get a light blue, a dark blue, a green, and a red. So nothing special about that. Oh, got a second package of strawberries and then um, for Christmas Santa comes to see the grandchildren right well you don't see them but he leaves a little something here at grandma's house for the grandkids so I use a bucket for Santa to put all his goodies in because uh, yeah we need bigger than a stocking yeah, so this year I went kind of untraditional from the, usually I'll get red buckets for the girls, green for the boys. But this year they had these really pretty colors. They had pinks, they had reds, they had um, orange, you know, from the fall colors. They had blue, let's see, is there a different color? White, but I picked purple. For the girls and blue for the boys so I thought that was kind of different so yeah I picked up those colors for them I want to put my gift boxes back in here alrighty and then let's see this was new and it's not very big it's yeah it's not a very big book and it's not very durable but it is the DIY holiday crafts and I kind of went through this a little bit at the store most of it is something you could do with your children well really everything see like right here is a reindeer hand puppet and you use their hands to make the antlers and then what's another one 
a glittery light bulb ornament. Do you guys remember making this when we, you were kids? Um, we would take the or the light bulb, paper mache around it, then break the light bulbs, you know, and get all the glass out. And it was very dangerous for children to do. But back then, when I was a kid, we knew no danger. <laughs> But it's it's got a lot of different, you know, holiday crafts to do and everything. So, yeah, I just picked it up. And now this one I have done marbleized glass ornaments. Uh, it's kind of hard to read this. And right here's what they look like. I used nail polish for those. And it says the same thing as me, solids and metallics. Yeah, so, I don't know why you would need toothpicks. Oh, they had you add water. Now, see, I didn't add water to mine. I just used pure nail polish. And I had to set them outside to kind of let the aroma dissipate. Yeah. But, like, right here is a match stick starburst ornament so you know there's a gumdrop tree there's plenty of things that you could do with your kids your grandkids um and then things that are a little bit more adult type stuff like wine glass candlesticks um a candy candlestick uh let's see what else a Santa bottle using a wine bottle, you know, so there's a little mix of adult and kid for that. So pick that up. Yeah. I needed some tissue paper to go in the bottom of the buckets. And then needed more of the filler for the buckets. Now I've got eight buckets to get ready for Santa. So I needed this. Yeah. Because if I used nothing but this, I would have to use like four or five for one bucket. Nah. But if you make like, um, put on the bottom of the bucket, you ball up some tissue paper loosely and put it on the bottom. And then you'll pour that, the stuff on the top. It kind of, that way you don't have to use as much. Yeah. So there you go. I needed some more close-up mouthwash. Pick that up. Uh, let's see. Picked up a couple of packages of the Hot Hands Hand Warmers. These are a two-pack. And I just keep these in my car for, you never know, just in case. And these you do need to replace. Like, I didn't use the ones in my car from last year. I didn't need them from last year. So, I'm going to get rid of those and replace them with these. Of course, it says expires 922. I'll have to take a look at the ones out there and see. But, yeah, check these because it's got expiration dates on the back. And sometimes they will expire on you. I just like keeping them in case, you know, like have car issues or whatever at, on the way to work, on the way home, whatever. I've got that extra little, you know, protection. I needed more trash bags for here in my craft room. So this time I got the spring scent. See how that does. I could not tell with the lemon scented ones the last time I got some. So, but yeah. Needed more comment for the bathtub. And this is the 48% more. So you get 1.5 pounds. So just got that. Oh, let's see. I found this um, trivet. It says cutting board. I won't use it for a cutting board. I wanted one to put a square one to put my Keurig on. Because right now I have a round one. And it kind of tipples a little bit. But this is really cute. It's a hot fresh coffee is the best way to start the day. 
And this is the dimensions. So I picked that up. Oh, let's see. I think I got just basic standard stuff now. Um, picked up three of the milks because I paid over two dollars a few weeks back for a half gallon of milk and it went bad. So I just went in and picked up three of these and I'll put them in the back of the fridge and they're ready to open and whatever when we need them. Because now that we all work second shift, including Twyla, um, none of us get up early enough to really eat breakfast. So once in a while Twyla will, but she's gotten to where she really don't eat cereal. So yeah, our milk is going bad before we can get it drank. And then you know what? In six months we'll go through a spell where we just go through milk. Yeah, real, you know, like a jug of milk. I picked up two of the Ultra, Ultra Shine dishwasher pods. And then the rest of it, what's this long thing? Oh, correction pins. I've got to get my planner together for January. So I picked that up. And then the rest of it. Yep, the rest of it is batteries. Yeah, I um, had bought my grandson's some walkie-talkies for their Christmas this year. All three of the big ones, the big boys, got walkie-talkies. I could have got Lucas a set because he's four. I could have got him a set, but I didn't. Um, so I just picked up the 9-volt batteries it needs with a spare set because uh, we need to do that for our Thing. we didn't do it at the time change um, the smoke detector yeah we forgot to do it at this at the thing you know how at the time changes you're supposed to change out the battery yeah it hasn't started beeping but you know how that goes it will <laughs> uh, package of the triple A's I've got some but I needed needed to keep a couple on on hand because I you never know when you need this at Christmas. Somebody has a toy or whatever. Uh, some more of the double A's. That is it, everybody. Not a lot of exciting things. I didn't find a lot of exciting things this time. Yeah, it... Like, the toys, they're, your, they're Dollar Tree regular toys at my... Um, Dollar Tree. Nothing big or exciting about them. I have not seen any of the, the the good name brand ones that you guys have been getting. It's all been the stocking stuffer type things that Greenbrier makes. Um, let's see. Nothing out of the unusual for crafting. But I did see Jot, and I don't need them, so I didn't get them. Jot came out with a four-pack of scented markers. And, let's see, they're in the same shape as a Sharpie, and but it's just got the primary colors, you know, yellow, green, blue, and red. But they're scented, so if you've got a kid who likes that type of thing, um, you might look for those. They're by the Jot brand. Uh, let's see. Didn't see really anything else that is new. That was the newest thing I've, I saw at mine. And then this crafting book, which to me, this crafting book is not worth a dollar. I mean, it's, it's really flimsy and blah. <laughs> but it's got a lot of cute ideals. It really does. So... But it reminds me of just a, an insert you would get, you know, in your crafting magazines, you know, just, yeah. Doesn't even have a, it's made by Dreamtivity, but it doesn't have a retail price or anything. So it was probably like an overstock of, um, like a... Like I said, like a oh, an insert for something. 
like in the magazines and stuff. But it the table of contents is pretty it does list quite a few things. Let me see if I can show you that right here. There we go. It does list quite a bit of things in the table of contents. So yeah, there's 32 pages. Four, eight. I couldn't tell you how many. Yeah, I don't feel like counting it. <laughs> With quite a few projects. Okay. I'm going to get off of here, everybody. I've got a few little things to show you from Walmart and Dollar General. Just a couple of things. Um, and that's about it. So, I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know, I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.